Hello, Internet. You look good. Or at least you would, if I could see you. I left my glasses in the bedroom and my wife is asleep. So we're just gonna go glasses free for this vlog, so just be aware that I can't see you. So, you may remember about five months ago, I totally knew that off the top of my head. Didn't even look at my YouTube page. About five months ago, uh, I made three videos talking about The Legend of Zelda Hyrule Warriors, talking about how it might be a prequel to Skyward Sword. A lot of stuff in there just lines up with the backstory of Skyward Sword and the manga that came out alongside Hyrule Historia. Uh, and so I thought, you know, there could be a connection there, uh, mostly Link's super sexy scarf. Uh, but if you haven't seen that video yet, uh, or any of those videos, I'll put some links right over here, and you can click any of those and uh, and get all caught up on that. They're some of our most popular videos, so there's pretty good odds that if you are a subscriber to this channel, you probably discovered us through those videos. So, hopefully you've already seen those. If not, click the links. Anyway, let's continue. About four days ago, uh, they released all these um, screenshots and new images and new details about Hyrule Warriors. And, you know, there were some new, some information about the story. Um, some of it might be considered spoilers, so I'm not really going to go too in-depth about the story. You can look that up on your own if you're interested in that. But something that uh, I didn't see until recently because nobody was really posting it, and it kind of got buried beneath the actual screenshots, was this piece of concept art that they released uh, of Skyloft above a war-torn surface. Now, if you paid attention to the prologue of Skyward Sword, uh, you know that there was a huge war with Demise that just destroyed the surface, and to save her people, the goddess Hylia created Skyloft, put all the humans on it, and sent them up unto the sky. This is then further detailed in the manga that came alongside Hyrule Historia that showed a warrior Link who fought alongside those soldiers to defend the surface and give the humans time to get onto Skyloft and make it out. Now this picture uh, that no one's talking about looks exactly like the prologue before Skyward Sword and the manga that accompanied Hyrule Historia. What's weird is that the, the people who have been talking about it, the big story that everybody's been saying is, you know, they'll see this picture and they'll go, time travel confirmed for Hyrule Warriors. That's the conclusion we immediately jump to. S seriously, that is the, the honest reaction that apparently the majority of people have had to this image, uh, is that obviously it must be time travel. And the reasoning behind this is, well, you can clearly see the castle is already there, and castles couldn't have existed before Skyward Sword. Why not? Even if you don't read the manga, it's clear that there was a perfectly good civilization living on the surface before Skyward Sword. And if you look at the manga, there was a big castle. Castles are fine. That's a terrible argument. Why would you jump straight to time travel? Like, you see Skyloft, and rather than saying, maybe this is in some way connected with Skyward Sword, you go, time travel. Aliens. Uh, but I think what's much more likely is that it just fits into the chronology at the time where we know there was a skyloft hovering above a burning surface. Like, we already know that happened, so when we see a picture of that in correlation with this game, we say, oh, that's probably where it goes. But yeah, seeing this picture, I felt really happy about myself because I'm like, oh, I think I was right. And as far as the actual plot goes, I'm gonna go into spoiler territory. I'm just gonna do it because it's it's easier. So if you consider the information about Hyrule Warriors plot that we have to be spoilers, um, don't watch from here on out. This is just kind of bonus. Uh, so one of the things that happened at the beginning of the manga in Hyrule Historia was that Link was imprisoned by his own people for doing something. We don't really know what it was. And the details we have for Hyrule Warriors is that Link is this soldier uh, in training. He is tasked with protecting Zelda, and there is some insinuation that there's sort of a romantic relationship there. And this sorceress who likes Link uh, becomes jealous and turns to the dark side and captures Zelda. And Link has to save her. And this sorceress apparently uh, in some way works for the royal family. Um, and so, possibility I see is that somehow, uh, Link, you know, through saving Zelda, his actions are misunderstood by the people and they turn against him. So this could actually be a prequel to the prequel to the prequel. Um, but just kind of like fit in to that world? I don't know, it's confusing. We don't know anything, so I'm just babbling at this point. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I noticed uh, from that picture. Also boobs. There's gonna be boobs in this game. 
apparently. I think that's really the message they were trying to get across with these screenshots. Yikes. That's all I got. Thank you for watching, and uh, this actually could be my last Hyrule Warriors video. Unless when it comes out, it turns out that all this is true, and then I'm going to come back and just be like, I told you so. Uh, but until then, you can subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash 8worldsnews. You can check us out on Facebook, that's facebook.com slash 8worldsnews. You can check out our blog, this one's backwards, it's 8worldsnews.blogspot.com. And uh, you can follow us on Twitter, at 8worlds. And I will talk to you next time. Bye bye